In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use IPVanish VPN on your Amazon Fire TV stick. The first thing we need to do is to install the VPN. To do this, you want to make sure you're on the home page of your Fire Stick, and then you want to scroll all the way across to the app drawer. From here, you want to click on the app store. Once the Fire Stick app store is loaded, it will look like this. All we need to do now is scroll across to the search page, and then you want to click on the search bar. Now from here, you just want to search for IPVanish VPN. Once you've searched for IP Vanish, it should be the first result and it will look like this. All you need to do now is click into the application page and from here it's going to tell you more about it. From here you want to click on the get button in the middle of the screen and that will install the application. And once it's installed you want to go ahead and open it up. Once you've opened the application you'll be greeted with a login screen. So all you need to do now is enter in your login information and click on login. Now if you don't have an account you can click on the link in the description below where you can go ahead and register for IP Vanish VPN. Once you've logged into your account, you'll be greeted to the application homepage. From here, you'll see three main buttons. you see the connect button in the middle of the screen, which will connect you to the last server you connected to, or the fastest server available. You'll also have an options button on the right, and from here, you can see your account information, your startup information, along with some other various connection information, such as the protocol, automatic app launch, etc. If we go back, we'll also have the VPN server button on the left, if we click into this, here we will have all of our VPN server options. So the first option is always going to be the fastest available. Below that we can connect to servers via their country and we can also filter via city if we want to be more specific. However, if you want to search for a specific server and you can't find it, you can go all the way to the top and you can search for servers instead. Now let's say in today's example we want to connect to a US server because we want to watch US version of Netflix. However, I'm currently in the UK. So all I need to do now is to find the US country, which is at the very end. And once we found it, we just want to click on it. And here we can either favorite the United States as a favorite server, which I'm going to do. And we can also connect to it. So let's do that now. After a few seconds, our network connection will reroute to the US server. And we will now be browsing the internet as if we are from the US, which is great for tricking streaming services into thinking we are from another country. So we can access geo-restricted content. So now we are connected to our US server. If we go back to the home page, all we need to do now is load up our favorite streaming service. In this case, we are going to load Netflix. Once we are on Netflix, you notice that the content hasn't updated. And that's because it doesn't recognize our new country. And that's because we need to refresh the application. So for Netflix, we want to go to the left hand side menu and then we'll scroll all the way down and click on the get help menu. From here, it's going to show you your country slash language. In this case, it still says GB because it still thinks I'm in Great Britain. However, to update the country, we want to scroll all the way down and then we want to click on Reload Netflix. Once Netflix has reloaded, you notice the content has updated and that's because we are now viewing the US version of Netflix. And as you can see, we can now browse through US shows and we can start watching them just as we normally would. And that's it. So remember to click on the link in the description below to get IP Vanish VPN. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.